I just wanted to real quickly mention something before we actually start this video. Uh, once again, this is an early access look at Rancho Del Arroyo, and the save file that I am using is one that was sent to me and other creators by the developers, so that is why you guys see 99 skill and perk points or whatever number it was at, and this will not carry over into our main games once this releases onto the live servers. So with that being said, enjoy the video my dudes. Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. We need to take this guy out really fast. Unfortunately, he did spook off, but I picked up a track from this guy earlier, and I've been trying to get him to come back to his zone, but these bobcats were just making it so difficult, but he has a fur type that I don't believe I've ever heard of. I could have sworn that the only fur types that were in the game before was common, brown, and black, and this guy says dark brown. So I'm wondering if that's something new or if maybe I've just not seen it before or just don't remember it. Uh, you guys let me know in the comments below because I don't remember if Dark Brown was a fur type before, but something tells me that this is something new. So let me know down below if I'm wrong or if this is actually something new because I'm very curious. Oh, there is actually one more. We might want to take him just in case this is the one I was tracking. All I know as of now is that it was a max weight estimate track. Well, he'll die. I don't think we're going to get full score on that one, but just in case that ends up being the one we're after, I wanted to get it down real quickly. So this is the first one right here. Um, I think this might be the one we're after. It's so hard to tell, but I don't think... No, this is a common. So this one right here is just the normal common. Which, uh, by the way, they do look so much better than they did before. They've got that, like, that little tuft of hair. Uh, it's not just one solid color anymore. They actually have, like, some patchiness. I like it a lot better than the old bighorns. Okay, yeah, this, uh, other one that we ended up messing up is actually the dark brown that we are trying to get. So, we will shortly get to see what it looks like up close. I am very curious because I swear I've never seen this fur type before. And if I have, I've just completely forgot that it exists. So I'm really interested to see it up close so I can get confirmation on whether or not it's newer. You know, I can't tell super well, but I don't think this was a thing before. This definitely doesn't look familiar. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like that's different. I think that might be different than before. I feel like this is a new fur type. If so, that's pretty cool. It definitely does not look like the black fur type, and it doesn't look like the brown fur type at all. I think this has to be a new fur type. Either way, though, it's pretty cool looking. I like that. But I figured that since they did redo all the fur and stuff like that on the bighorn sheep, we would kind of take a look at them today. We haven't really shot a ton of them since this map released into early access. So, we might as well take out a few today, kind of compare the differences between the old ones and the new ones. These ones are all females, but I think we'll try to take out a few of them. That one right there definitely looks like that dark brown that we just shot. And that looks like a common, and I believe that right there is the brown, so we'll try to get all three of them. Um, we just hit this tree that's barely visible. That's quite unfortunate. I think we got the first one, but uh, the second one, not quite. We hit the third one, but I don't think that's going to kill it. Or not fast, at least. It'll probably kill it. It'll just take a little while. Another thing that I wanted to quickly mention is I might not be streaming quite as much in the next few days, or uh, at least not for as long because it's going to be incredibly hot, uh, clear up to 110 one day, so I definitely don't want to be having my PC on all day. That could definitely make things a bit too hot in here. But this is another dark brown fur type. I swear these are brand new unless they just renamed the black fur type. Which is also a possibility. I'm actually going to tax this because I do want to kind of get a look to compare all the different fur types. Just kind of see what's different or if maybe uh, maybe they just renamed the black one. It's hard to say. 
But I could have swore that there was no dark brown before. That is a brown right there, so we will tax that so we can get a close look at it. And that's a common, so we will also tax that. So if the black fur type does still exist, that's the only one we need to find now. But it's hard to say if it's even still a thing. We got ourselves a bunch of bighorn right there. That one right there, I think, would be the closest to what we're looking for. But I can't really tell from this far away. We're just going to shoot as many of them as we can. Uh, actually, I'm not even sure if that hit. What just happened there? Did that completely miss? I think it might have. And if it did, I'm really curious what just happened there. I have noticed that there is an occasional bug with the M1 where it shoots like two feet to the left. So I'm wondering if that's what happened right there. But I didn't really see where the bullet hit, so it's hard to say. That should have been a good shot though. I mean, we definitely hit him. That was just really strange all around. He didn't even act like he had been hit. Very interesting to say the least. Let's see if we can get one of these. Yeah, that looked like a hit and it's just died. Where did that other one go? Well, we might not be able to find that one, but here is the one that we got first. This one is the black fur type. Okay, so they did add a new one then. They had to have. I don't remember dark brown being a thing. Once again, like I was saying at the beginning, let me know down in the comments below if you guys have seen a dark brown fur type before. But I can't say I ever have, and that is a very wonky bighorn right there. That is quite an interesting looking bighorn. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. And this is why I never used the Argus on my main account. I was trying to get used to it on this one, but it's just little things like that. And that's the reason why I don't use the Argus. Those close range shots are almost impossible and then you have to go iron sights, which isn't the most ideal. With Hyperion, that's not an issue. And the uh, lack of field of view when you're looking down at the Argus just takes up way more of the screen, making it harder to see stuff out of the left and right of your scope. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and pick up this little guy right here. This is another of the black fur type. And I think we should have one more down further up here. And we definitely have some blood right here. Here we go. 129. And that is the dark brown fur type once again. So we're not going to tax this. We've already got one dark brown tax. But I do want to continue hunting Bighorn because I'm kind of enjoying hunting them in the desert. It's quite a nice change from Silver Ridge Peaks. So I was having quite a bit of trouble finding drink zones for the bighorn sheep because I haven't really done a lot of hunting for them, so I wasn't sure where the best places were. I knew a few locations just from hunting whitetail and finding the bighorn zones along with them, but this place over here, as you guys know, is one of the best feed zones for pretty much everything. And there is a bunch of bighorn here too, and that is actually a brand new zone. So, we're going to take out a few of these, and also, is that... I think that's just a gray pheasant. Could be wrong, but I think that's just a gray, so we'll probably leave that unless we can get a closer look and determine otherwise. We got more bighorn there. And then we should have some... Yeah, we got some out there, so let's start taking some of these out. I absolutely love this spot just because of the sheer number of animals that you can find in this area and uh, before we kill anything I will show you guys where it is it's right down here for those of you that have not seen my videos that I have done on this location I've talked about it a few times now it's just so good and I can already tell this is gonna be a place a lot of people go once the map releases to everyone so let's go ahead and try to get a couple shots on these let's just uh, confirm that distance real quick it is 302 so that's about perfect that should be two down and didn't quite get him but that's definitely the nicest one and we completely missed out on it oh maybe not we just hit it on that last shot now we've got a couple out here that we can real quickly take down. Let's get this three first. I think we hit the second one, but I don't think it's going to kill it. 
Now let's get a couple out here. Should be two dead bighorn. Yeah, that guy's definitely gonna go down and there was one more that I wanted to take right here. Uh, we are gonna have to try and get his attention though first, so let's shoot with the 22 right next to him. Then we should be able to put a shot in him. There we go. Well, we got a bunch of bighorn to claim, so we should probably get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab this first one right here. This is just a common... We actually just barely got that shot into it before it darted off and we managed to get vitals. There is the second one. That was the first one that we took out. Got a... Oh, wow, that's actually pretty impressive. We missed the right lung and hit the left lung, but we went over top of the right lung. That's crazy. Well, it does look like we got a non-vital hit, which is better than what I thought we did on this guy. So that's pretty good, at least. You know, when I had first started this video, I completely intended for it to be a highlight video, but then I ended up just getting really interested in the bighorn sheep and wanted to take a closer look at their brand new fur. And I'm honestly pretty happy with it. I think it's a great improvement and that is a dark brown one right there i am going to tax that because that looks really good and i want to get a closer look at it in the lodge because that is a beauty right there that is super nice looking even though that's a low scoring gold it still looks so good with that dark brown fur i absolutely love it ow that is that is a cactus that is uh not what i wanted to do there well, our dog is tracking a different one, but I did spot this as we were going over there. So let's just real quickly pick this one up right here. It's just a level two male, so it's not really anything too special. After a very long search, we have finally found this little guy right here, a level three common. And that means there should only be one more left or possibly two at the most. Well, I was wrong. We actually have three more down. We have two here and one over there. So let's grab this one right here. This is just a common one, 136 scoring another one of the smaller level 4s, but it's still a 4 nonetheless. Maybe we can eventually get a 5 to spawn. I actually did get a level 5 on the very first live stream that we did on this reserve, and it ended up trolling us, unfortunately, but we have not seen a level 5 since, sadly. But then again, I haven't really been targeting them too much, so that's to be expected. And this is the last one right here. I really love the way the brown fur looks now. They changed it quite a bit. It used to be just solid fur, this color right here, this kind of like reddish brown. And now it's actually got some patchiness to it, which is really cool. I absolutely love it. Uh, let's tax this. I want to see if there's maybe any difference between like one brown pattern versus another brown pattern. I'm really interested to see if they went that far and like made different patterns or not. It'd be kind of interesting to find out. Well, I have not been able to find any more bighorn sheep, so I think what we're going to do to kind of end this video off, since I do want to make this video the normal length that I typically do, and I don't think I have enough footage as of now, so let's go ahead and toss in one of the highlights that I got during the first four days of recording before I was able to actually show it off to you guys. I managed to get a diamond antelope jackrabbit, and at the time that I got it, it was incredibly late and my wife and daughter were sleeping, so you guys know the drill. When that happens, I wasn't able to actually commentate over because I didn't want to wake them up. But we did manage to take this little guy down and this is the first level three that I had seen of them. And as of now, it's the only one that I've found. So they do seem to be incredibly rare, which is pretty much the case with a lot of the rabbit species, except for the European rabbit. That's the only one that's really somewhat easy to find a diamond of. And this one right here was the first level three that I had found, as I was saying, and it's the only one that's made diamond. I haven't had a level two make diamond yet, just this level three, but it was nice to finally get one. That way I could have one of the new species diamond at least, and you guys saw that we also got Rio Grande turkey and pheasant in previous videos, so I think all we have left is the javelina and then also the uh, bobcat, I believe. And then we will have every single diamond, but I think I'm probably not going to hunt those too heavily because I don't want to end up getting them in this early access period and then just not be able to find them when the map finally hits the live game. So I think I'm just going to save all of the hunting for them until we're able to actually keep everything. 
but anyway guys our little diamond rabbit is in here I actually don't remember which one it is I think it's this one right here because this other one is the modeled fur type I believe so that's our diamond right there that is the gray fur type and that actually looks really good I actually really like it and this is probably one of the coolest rabbit multi mounts we've had uh, we have the bunny squad one and then I think we have one with a coyote I believe or no, it's a fox eating one of the rabbits. But I definitely think that this is my favorite rabbit mount so far. It looks really good. Uh, there's so many different poses that you can do with them that just look really cool. A lot of them are like uh, fighting type poses, but they're still pretty cool. I like them. Definitely one of the best ones they've done. So there definitely is a lot of differences with all of these new furs compared to the old ones. This common fur right here I'm pretty sure didn't used to have this lighter patch in the middle which it's kind of cool that it does now. It really makes these sheep look like they've been weathered by the desert which I definitely like. And this is probably the most noticeable one. The brown fur type looks way different than it used to but it looks so good. I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, this one up front is the dark brown, which it is actually a little bit lighter than the black fur type. So there is some slight differences. Uh, I honestly never even noticed much of a difference. In fact, I didn't even think that this existed, but I still don't know if it existed before this update. So you guys let me know in the comments once again, because I'd love to know if this is a new fur type. But it does look different from black fur type, so it's definitely not like a text error or anything like that, so... Kinda cool either way, but... There's all the different bighorn fur types, all the brand new fur models that they have given them, and man, they look great. Definitely a huge fan of the upgrade they got. Now if only they could just change the horns a little bit, cause they do have excessive curls as a lot of you guys know. But anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button, click the like button, and ring that notification bell so you guys will never miss a video. Also be sure to comment down below with what you would like me to take a look at next while we still have a little bit of time in this early access period. And I will try to get to it as fast as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!